everybody, you know, always assumes that more expensive foods are the better foods. And, you know, going through this channel, I hope that I have elucidated that that's not necessarily the case. And so you can get a really good quality food for a price that's appropriate for you. Um, you know, it doesn't do any good if you really, you know, bust your hump to, you know, buy a pet food, but then when hard times come or, you know, things are a little short, we have to switch foods because we can't, you know, afford the one that we've picked. And so price is important. Pick a price that makes the food available to you readily. And so we're going to do research on these foods and we're going to find a food that's in our price point that's still a good food and that we can budget that in in a regular basis. The other thing um, that kind of goes along with this that can be a little bit tricky is um, a lot of times I'll put on this channel the price per pound. And price per pound is important. It can help you calculate if you can afford a food. But it's also important to realize cost to feed. And so cost to feed is going to require a little bit of math. It's going to require you to know how many cups you have to feed your pet. Because, for example, let's say you have food A. And food A, you have to feed three cups to meet your daily caloric requirement for your pet. And then, you know, maybe it's a little bit more expensive of a food. But food B is super, super, super cheap. And, um, but you have to feed six cups of that food. The one may not necessarily be cheap after all, once you calculate how much you have to feed. And so this is a common thing. Um, and we can get into pet nutraceuticals. If you guys are interested in that, you can leave a comment below, but it, it's a really common thing I see in my practice with things like glucosamine chondroitin. And so I always recommend uh, reputable brands because uh, nutraceuticals are not regulated very well. So you want to pick a reputable brand. And so I'll recommend something like Cosequin or a brand like that. And uh, people will come back and say, you know, the Cosequin was really expensive. And I found, you know, this product at whatever store, Sam's or Walmart, it's, it's a lot cheaper. But as we go through the ingredients and we look at the concentrations where, you know, you may be giving one Cosequin tablet per day. You end up having to give like 20 tablets of this other more cheap, you know, glucosamine. And so when you're calculating costs, it's important to not only calculate the cost per pound or with the Cosequin example, cost per pill, but the cost per feed or the cost per appropriate dose. So cost, you know, that can be a touchy subject, but it really is important to make sure you're picking something that you feel comfortable with in your budget that you can afford and you can do on a regular basis.